and welcome. This is Shireen Qureshi and you are watching It's Tomorrow News. When is hit by further high water levels? 6.4 magnitude earthquake hits Albania collapsing buildings. Power cut to 47,000 amid severe storm in Sydney. Venice has been hit by further high water levels after weeks of flooding brought the lagoon city virtually to its knees. The famous St. Mark's Square was closed briefly on Sunday as the Equa Alta reached 130 cm. Tourists and Venetians were forced to wade through the waters yet again after weeks of rain and wind caused for the flooding across the city. The city beloved around the world for its canals, historic architecture and art was hit by a high tide at 187 cm on November 12. That was just short of the record of 194 cm set in 1966 and caused the city's worst flooding in 50 years. In normal conditions, tides of 80 to 90 cm are generally seen as high but manageable. With four tides above 140 cm since November 11, this is the worst month for high tides in Venice since 1872 when official statistics were first produced. The UNESCO World Heritage City is home to 50,000 people and gets around 36 million visitors every year. Further west on the other side of Italy, a portion of motorway bridge linking Savona to Turin collapsed on Sunday. Fire service personnel inspected the bridge on the A6 highway near Savona after huge chunks of concrete plummeted to the ground due to a landslide. According to a first inspection, local authorities said there were no confirmed reports of fatalities or injuries in the area, but firefighters were checking the area by helicopter. Meanwhile, Albania's biggest earthquake in decades caused several buildings to collapse this morning, injuring dozens of people and sparking panic amongst residents. The tremor, which had a magnitude of 6.4, struck just 20 miles from the heavily populated capital Tirana and was felt across hundreds of miles of Eastern Europe. Residents rushed from shaking buildings as the quake hit, some holding babies in their arms, witnesses said. The Albanian government said the coastal town of Duras had suffered the worst damage, while at least 50 people had been taken to hospital in Tirana. TV footage showed a child being pulled from the rubble. The US Geological Survey warned an earthquake of that size had the potential to cause widespread damage and casualties. Footage posted online showed many buildings badly damaged across the area, with fallen masonry piled in the streets. In September, a 5.6 magnitude quake in almost the same spot injured at least 70 people and damaged around 500 buildings. A 6.4 magnitude earthquake would be around 16 times stronger than that, experts said. Computer predictions from the USGS said around 8,000 people would have felt severe shaking in today's quake and a total of almost 12 million would have felt in countries including Greece, Montenegro, Kosovo and North Macedonia. An aftershock of around 5.4 magnitude shook the area minutes after the main tremor and the minor quakes were continuing to rattle the region through the early hours. Though no official information was available about the casualties or the extent of damage caused by the quake, several people took to Twitter to post photos and videos of the damage. A wild storm in Sydney, in Australia, has brought down dozens of trees and cut power to tens of thousands of homes on Tuesday afternoon. Osgrid said 47,000 homes were without power as of 2 p.m. as up to 90 km per hour winds brought down power lines. The wild weather swept through the city just afternoon with damage most prominent in the North Shore suburbs of Gordon and Pimble, where at least one fallen tree was blocking the Pacific Highway. Train services were briefly suspended on Sydney's North Shore line between Hornsby and Gordon due to a tree on the tracks. Services between Hornsby and Barovra remain suspended due to urgent power supply repairs which are also affecting the Central Coast Newcastle line between Horsebean and Gosford. Sydney buses said that some buses and school services were delayed up to 30 minutes through Gordon, Pimble, Macquarie Park and surrounding northwest and northern Sydney suburbs due to downed wires, fallen trees and blacked out traffic lights in various locations. Residents told local radio 
tin roofs were being pulled off houses by the wind. Social media users posted pictures of trees and power lines blocking roads in Davidson and Bell Jose, as well as for the south in Bondi. The strong winds from the storm also led to severe fire danger conditions being declared in the Greater Hunter. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. Shirin Qureshi. For more weather updates like these, please subscribe our channel.